Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to display a image on your VexBrain using LVGL. Uh, in future I'll be doing some more tutorials about making buttons and UIs with different screens and everything, but today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on images. So we're going to start with the LVGL uh, image converter. We're going to convert, this is how you load the image onto your device. We're going to choose C array and we want true color alpha. Now you want to choose an image you want. Uh, the VX screen is 480 by 240. If we look here, 480 by 240, that's the max size it can do. Um, so there's no point in making it bigger will just take up more space. So we're going to go here, select this, convert, and then we're going to save this uh, pros and in our source file. Now we're going to head to our empty pros program, clear out the LCD stuff because you can't use LCD at the same time as um, LVGL, so that would be bad. Head up here into initialize, and we are going to first declare the image. And it will just be the name of your file minus the dot C. So just there we go. Now it's accessible in this file. We want to go here. LV underscore. We are just going to create the object. Um, we'll just call it image. And LV underscore image. image. Oh, it's just IMG create um, the screen it's going to be on is just this this is just the default screen and we're not copying over any styles from any other object now we want to set the source of the image so IMG and we're going to set it to make sure you have that at symbol first and then we'll set it to that and so it knows to use the one we've declared here um, and then we want, we'll just position it in the center of the screen so LV align we're aligning image we're not we're not copying any um, and we'll go center and we want no offset from the center no no x and y offset from the center position uh, now we need to edit this slightly because it's set up for lvgl first delete all these attributes here next between the unit 8t and the constant delete all that stuff all those attributes and in here where it says lvgl change this to pros api x now just going to turn on the vex brain make sure this is saved there we go it's connected um upload this here And now if I run it on the brain, a picture comes up. I'll put a little photo on screen of it working. Okay, uh, I hope this helped. Uh, if you have any questions, just ask in the comments. Uh, and I'll be doing more of these about buttons and screens in the future.